Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you how to make some delicious chicken michiotes. They're basically chicken in adobo sauce wrapped and steamed. So in case you guys want to make this super easy and delicious recipe, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Okay guys, so first we're going to begin by braining our chicken. This is just going to help our chicken be even more delicious. So I'm going to be using three pounds of chicken thigh and just make sure that you clean it and also create two slits under the skin as well for our three pounds of chicken drumsticks. And we're just going to transfer them to a bowl. And to our bowl, we're going to add four tablespoons of white vinegar, four tablespoons of coarse salt, and we're going to cover it with ice cold water. Just make sure that you mix the chicken and all the ingredients in there. And cover the chicken with water. So fill it all the way up. So while we brine our chicken, we're going to make our adobo. For our adobo, we're going to be using seven Guajillo or New Mexico chili pots. I like to use New Mexico just because they are a little bit spicier than Guajillo. So we're just going to clean them and place them in a small pot, along with two chili pasillas. We're going to cover them with water. Set it on high heat and bring them to a boil. Okay, so as soon as our chilies come to a boil, we're going to turn it off and transfer them to our blender cup. So now we can finish making our adobo sauce. To a blender cup, we're going to add a half a stick of cinnamon, eight whole cloves, 10 allspice berries, a half a teaspoon of coriander seeds, two teaspoons of oregano, one and a half teaspoons of whole black pepper, one teaspoon of cumin seeds, salt, one teaspoon of poultry seasoning, a quarter teaspoon of ground ginger, a quarter of a small white onion, seven garlic cloves, a quarter of a cup of lime juice, a quarter of a cup of white vinegar, the juice of one orange or half a cup, and one and a half cups of water. And now we're just going to blend until everything is nice and smooth. Okay, so once we have our adobo sauce, now we're going to fry it. Okay, so I'm going to be using the same pot that I used to boil my chiles. Just make sure that it is completely dry. Okay, so to that we're going to add two tablespoons of olive oil. We're going to set it on low heat and allow that to heat up. Okay, so once that's hot, we're going to pour our adobo sauce. Strain if you need to. Okay, so now we're just going to bring it to a simmer. Okay, so once our adobo sauce comes to a simmer, we're going to try it for salt and see if you wanna add any more. For me, it's perfect. So now we're just going to turn it off and allow it to cool down completely before pouring it on our chicken. Okay guys, so while we wait for our sauce to cool down, we're going to get five nopales ready. So I'm going to begin by peeling them because they already have, they still have the thorns. So carefully just remove all of the thorns and I like to use a knife and carefully just move it up and down. And I like to do this under running water. But just remove all of the little thorns. Okay, so once we remove the thorns from both sides, we're just going to cut the end and then go around the honopal and get rid of the sides. And now we're just going to cut it into small strips. And, then, and depending on how big you want your nopales, then it depends on how big you're going to cut your strips. So I'm just going to go about one inch, just like that. And I'm just going to transfer it to my colander, and so I like that, it's easier for me to rinse them. And repeat the process to all of the nopales. Okay, so once we have our nopales all nice and cut into small strips, now we're going to rinse them. Okay, so once we have our rinse, we're going to set them to the side until it's time to wrap our michotes. Alrighty guys, so once our adobo sauce has cooled down completely, now we're going to reserve one cup. Okay, so we're going to set it to the side, and now we are ready to prepare our chicken. Okay, so now we're going to get our chicken out, and we're going to drain the water and give it a quick rinse. Okay, so now we're going to grab our chicken, and we're going to marinate it with our adobo sauce. Make sure that the chicken gets fully coated, under the skin, in the creases, just completely coated. Okay, so once our chicken is fully coated with the marinade, now we're just going to add the remaining and just throw it on top. 
Okay, so now we're just going to cover it and marinate for at least three hours. Okay, so I marinated this chicken last night, so now it's ready. So once we have our chicken ready, make sure that you take it out one hour before cooking. So like that, it is a room temperature. So now, once we have our chicken ready, we can now make our michotes. All right guys, so now the traditional way to make the michotes is to use this membrane from the maguey leaf. But let me tell you that it is very hard to get them. Um, my mom got them at the Swami, uh, but if you cannot find them, you can always use banana leaves. You know, just make sure that you pass them through the fire. So like that, they're nice and pliable. Or you can use foil or even parchment paper, okay? So now we are ready to wrap them. Okay, so I wet my membrane. So like that, it's easy for them to uh, fold. And now we're going to grab our chicken. We're going to grab our nopales. And I'm also going to add some onion. And just make sure that you cover them with the extra adobo sauce. You guys, and before you close them, we're going to add one avocado leaf or hoja santa, or if you can't get a hold of any of those, you can use a bay leaf. Just place it in there, and then we can close it. And now we're going to repeat the same process to all of our chicken. And I'm going to be showing you how to make it with the foil. And the banana leaf, same steps. Just grab your chicken, your nopales, some onion, adobo sauce. So grab it. Grab the foil. Make sure that it is completely sealed. And just make your foil pack like that. Just like that. Alrighty guys, so once we have our michiotes all nice and wrapped, now we are ready to place them on our steamer pot. So on my steamer pot, I have the bottom with hot water, and then at the bottom of my pot, I just put a banana leaves. Okay, so I have my banana leaves right there, just so like that the water doesn't go through my michiotes. Now we're just going to begin to place our michiotes in the pot. So just arrange it depending on how big your pot is. I'm going to place foil. Make sure you press it down. Everything is nice and sealed. Okay, now we're going to transfer it to our stove. Okay, so we're going to cover our pot. And because my steamer pot is, doesn't seal all the way, I'm going to place a molcajete. Just so like that, it's nice and sealed. Okay, so now we're just going to set it on medium-low heat. And we're going to allow that to cook for about 50 to 55 minutes. Alrighty guys, so it's been 55 minutes. So at this point, we're going to check on our chicken. So just be very careful because it is hot. Okay, so we're going to get our chicken and make sure that it is completely cooked. your michote. Again, just be very careful. And let me tell you, that smells delicious. Of course, check it with a the thermometer. The meat should be very tender. Oh, yeah. It's super hot. So we're just going to allow our chicken to sit for about five minutes before cutting into it and enjoying. Alrighty guys, and after five minutes, we are now ready to enjoy. And I just like to add more purple onion and just garnish it with a little cilantro. And of course you can serve it with rice or however, but just like that, now we are ready to enjoy. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. I am so ready, my mouth is watery, and let me tell you that it smells delicious. This is seriously a super cheap and delicious meal. So I hope you give it a try and enjoy it just as much. Cheers and enjoy. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Seriously, super delicious. And the chicken is flavorful. It's tender. It's so good. And of course, no no palitos. Mm. So good. Alrighty guys, and there you have it on how I make some delicious chicken michotes. I hope you guys had enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Share with your friends and family. And if you ever create this recipe, please don't forget to tag me in any of my social medias. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.